Greetings. I have a sort of a holiday gift for you guys. I'm not really into the whole Christmas thing and honestly the uh, superficiality and commercial overconsumption aspect of it is uh, often quite just really disturbing. But this is sort of a knife in the heart of that, that Christmas. <laughs> and it is basically a resource that is just a gold mine of practical how-to information and self-reliance knowledge. Quite incredible. And that is the formula book. This is a phenomenon, really. At some point, people started to collect all these different recipes and tips and techniques and compile them into books. This harks from a different time completely. There weren't just products that you could buy prefabricated and pre-compounded to do pretty much everything. If you went to the pharmacy and ordered something, often it was made by the pharmacist on the spot from raw materials. Um, you know, if you went to a store, uh, some people couldn't even get to stores easily or not big ones. And if you did go to one, you wouldn't find the bewildering array of products for every possible problem and some products to solve problems that aren't even really problems. It's almost like they're, you know, the problems are invented to us. Uh, accommodate the product. So people had to do a lot of things for themselves. These books are essentially, you know, recipes and techniques of all kinds. Some of them are geared towards householders and farms and uh, stuff like that, and other ones are a little bit more focused. Like this one is definitely more of a technical book that would be for professionals, and some of them are just for a certain um, profession like this one the uh, materials of the artist um, a really amazing neat book and it has all these techniques and uh, ways to compound your different paints and all these different waxes and resins and stuff like that so what i've done is i've collected as many of these as i could find these are the ones that i actually own physical copies of but i've collected as many digital copies as i could find and i have a link to those, uh, if you visit skillcult.com slash free stuff, you can find a file there that says formula books. Just follow that link and there's a whole bunch of them. There's probably 15 or more of them. Uh, this is one of my favorites here, the Scientific American Cyclopedia of Receipts, Notes, and Queries. Receipts basically meaning recipes at that time. It's archaic language. This is the one I was first introduced to by my friends uh, Todd Spring and Scott. They uh, are artists, kind of practical artist types. They do a lot of metalworking and stuff like that. And one day something came up and they're like, wait, you haven't seen Henley's formulas? And uh, sure enough, it's it was simply amazing. It just has all these recipes for, let me just tell you some stuff. Uh, stains for oak leather. You can see I have the leather section marked here. Uh, writing inks you know, how to make these inks, ink for stamp pads, glazes. It's just, there's just an amazing number of neat things in these books. So one thing you'll find about these, well, a couple of things, like a couple of warnings. Okay, first you'll notice that there's a lot of toxic stuff in here that we don't really use very much anymore. Lead in particular is a real staple, uh, but you'll see a lot of other toxic elements and substances in here too. Sometimes you'll be able to substitute or, you know, riff off of the other things in the recipe and come up with something that you can do. And other times you're just kind of screwed. Another thing you'll notice is that you won't understand what a lot of these things are. Uh, what's chloral? Chloral, I have no idea what that is. Uh, cocaine, this calls for cocaine. <laughs> I didn't, by the way, I didn't turn this, this on purpose. This is just what it says. Uh, this is, let's see, this is ointment. So it's probably for pain, you know, like an external ointment. Ointment of iodine of mercury. Lard three ounces, iodine of mercury, 45 grams, mix well. And this is something that people would actually put on their skin. Bad idea. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, so this neuralgic ointment, you know, that's that means for nerve pain is menthol, cocaine, chloral, whatever that is, and Vaseline. Anyway, there's going to be a lot of things in here that you don't, you don't know what they are. I've developed, you know, a larger vocabulary and kind of an internal glossary of what some of this stuff means. It's both that the terminology is archaic and also these substances aren't as, as in common use. It's not as much a general general uh, knowledge as it used to be. So here's a great thing here is oil skins. So it says uh, oil skins see waterproofing, but you know these books, if you look through a whole bunch of them, you're probably going to find recipes for oil skins that go, you know, beyond what you normally 
definitely see. Like if you look up how to make oil cloth on YouTube, these recipes could be a little bit more sophisticated. Like I remember one of them called for dipping the the canvas in bull's blood uh, first as the first step in making a certain type of oil canvas. Here's a whole section on oils, which is a fascinating uh, subject. There's really a lot to be known about oils, and this would have everything of like, you know, what each kind of oil is, where it comes from, what its properties are, and then using those oils to compound lubricants and stuff like that, how to prepare linseed oil. So here's boiled linseed oil, plain linseed oil, pale linseed oil, you know, all these different things. That said, I just wanted to offer these to everybody I spent a bunch of time doing some research and started running across more of these than I owned. And I'd been meaning to do this for a while actually anyway. So I took that opportunity to spend some time on archive.org and collect a bunch of these and put them in one place. So they're, they're easy to find and download. And I hope that they're as useful to you as they have been to me. These have been critical to helping me understand materials and processes, what's possible, and just generally contributing to my confidence in riffing off what materials are available at any time and kind of looking at a problem and saying, oh, I could solve this problem potentially with, you know, maybe compounding something out of these materials, or just walking around the world and seeing different things and different materials um, and seeing them differently and realizing the wealth of possibility that is uh, embodied in different materials when you see the world as kind of a landscape of resources. And these are, can go a long way toward that. And they're really just, you know, books like this one especially is just fun to flip open and and flip through and of course that's not as fun to do digitally if you want to buy any of these i looked around and it looks like ebay is probably one of the better markets etsy was pretty good uh, booksellers like abe books and alibris are okay but they tend to be a little bit more expensive through those places happy holidays i wish all of you uh, a great uh, coming year and hope that you can uh, develop and achieve uh, or work towards some of your goals